Hi there, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit uh, with a quick video on how to make a really simple zigzag card and decorate it with your favourite papers. So take your two pieces of A4 card and you measure up the short side or measure up one side three inches and you cut from that three inch point right up to the top corner twice so cut yourself two pieces and then using your scoreboard or your paper trimmer so I'm going to bring my paper trimmer in my well used and trusty paper trimmer that has been going for years um, Score starting from the short edge, measure in three and seven eighths of an inch and score. And then, because I'm using the paper trimmer and not a scoreboard, I fold that score line and then reline up at three and seven eighths again, lift up that flap and score, and do that on both of your pieces. And then you can crease those with your bone folder. Make sure that you've got the bottom edge level, she says. So you end up with two pieces like that. And then each one of those you fold in half. So you fold that one, and then the middle one you fold over to the crease line, keeping the bottom edge straight. And then the last one, just fold that like that. You fold it over to make six sections. Like that. So you're making two of those. And at this point, it doesn't matter how they fold. And then on one of them, measure up from the bottom on the second, so starting measuring again from the narrow edge, measure up two inches and cut up the fold line on the second fold line. And on the fourth fold line, you measure up three inches. You can even go three and a half if you want. So three or three and a half and cut. So I'm going to do that on my paper trimmer. So the first one I'm going to go up two inches. Let's bring the blade in. Now you can start at the two inch mark and cut away from you. And then on the fourth fold, line it up on the cutting line. Start at three and a half inches. a long blade. Let's get a sharp one. Oh, I'll trim it with my scissors. She says, why are they? It's just nicked the card, so I'm just trimming the little bits. Straight on the edge. I'm using the chipboard blade, but not the card cutting blade. And then you put your other piece over the top. Let's undo this piece. So your first piece you cut up from the bottom. The second piece you put over the top. And then just using your scissors or you can use a pencil, just put a little mark where you've cut up to on the so it goes through onto the underside. You could use a pokey tool if you wanted to. And at the two inch mark on the underside. And then, or you can even fold actually. If you fold it like that, so the crease lines are um, over each other, just put a little mark. And that's where you're going to cut down to. And then fold up on that fourth crease. Put a little mark 
and then you're going to cut down. Let's get the ones down. Uh -huh. Let's cut up. Is that cut up as well? So one, one up, one down. That one's up. And that's it. This one I've cut down. So you've got one you're cutting up to the two inches and the three and a half, and the second one you're cutting down to those points. And then you just slide them together. Like that, so that your edges are all straight. And then from the front, it doesn't matter which way they're folding at this point, the front you open up and then fold the sides in. The centre you open up and squash down. And then the back flaps you fold under. And that gives you, and when they're all lined up and your bottom edges are straight, that gives you your zigzag card ready to decorate. And to decorate them, you can decorate them so when they're all folded up. Let me just put my original card back together. Let's take that one off. So I just slide it back together. So each of the sections is about one and seven eighths inches wide. So the key now, once it's all folded up properly, let's do it again. Open it up. Get all your edges straight. So once it's together and once it's decorated, it all stays in the right position. Um, you want to cut yourself strips. I've got mine already cut so I can stick them on and show you. Because the A4 card is eight and a quarter inches tall, you can use eight inch papers to cover your um, card if you want. I've used a mixture of eight inch um, papers and six by six papers from the Mono More collection by Graphic 45 to alter my card. They're cut at one and three quarter inches wide and you start by oops, cutting your back pieces. Let's get them on the line. And all you do to cut the angle is sandwich your paper between two of the folds. So I'm going to be cutting that edge. Fold it together, turn it over and just cut with your scissors but make sure at the bottom that you've got your paper positioned just an eighth of an inch up from the bottom so that you get a nice black border all the way around. Hold it, fold it up like that and then use that line as your cutting line. And then do that for all of the pieces, just deciding what papers you're going to have where as you go. So I've got um, the roses, and then I've put the roses again. So that one goes in there, and that one goes in there. And then I've gone to the centre here and cut two more pieces. So I've got one that side and one that side. And then I've gone black, let's bring all the pieces in. So you can use up lots of bits of paper um, or if you want to use a 12 by 12 sheet then you'll get more strips out of the 12 by 12. That one goes in there, so I've got a black one. And then I opened it up and I've got black there there, black at the sides, let's put them on the right side, black 
back at the side. And then I've cut one of the images from the paper and that's going to just sit over that centerpiece like that. So just lift it up slightly so his hat comes over the top. And then I've got some of the flowers from, this was from the 8x8 monomore sheet. So they're just going to go across the bottom like that. And I've got a sentiment in the middle. And then fold those over. Fold those over. These are patterns in solid pieces. Like that. Two little borders, oops. So I've got the flower border to sit just above and a little black border to sit at right at the bottom. So I've cut all of those out ready to stick on. So that's the card, that's what it's going to look like. Haha, <laughs> twang. Um, a tip with the papers, I'm sure you know it, but um, Lots and lots of the papers have a really thick white core and when you stick white on the darker colours it, it really shows that white edge up. So you can either ink them and get rid of um, the white with your distress inks or use a distress pen. I always have the wrong side of the paper facing me and just run along with the thicker end brush nib A couple of strokes backwards and forwards gets rid of that white core. So do that with all of your papers and then your card will look a lot more professional. And have the wrong side facing you just in case you slip and you draw on it. So I'm going to stick all of these together and then I'll come back and show you the finished card. It will look much nicer when they're all actually stuck in place. So here it is, our zigzag card, finished and decorated. Um, we've got the pinks, the blacks, the flowers, and then inside at the front, the flowers to complement those right at the back. So um, from the papers, I've used one sheet for those four one and three quarter inch strips. That was one eight by eight. We've got two pink strips here and two at the bottom, and you can get three out of the six by six paper which this was, so I've used two sheets of the pink. And then for the black, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one and three quarter inch strips. You get three from a sheet, so that was two sheets of the black. And then I've taken the images, beautiful vintage image here, and the sentiment and the flower petals from the bottom of the Monomore signature sheet. So two eight by eights, four six by sixes, makes you a really lovely zigzag card. And there it is, standing up. So have fun if you make some yourself and enjoy and thanks for watching.